Good evening. Happy Friday. We're going to carry on playing Existential Dread the Game, aka Final Fantasy IX. This is the Do Not Steal Anything Challenge. Stream o'clock, baby, let's go. Hello, Frenchie. Uh, yes, for anybody that missed the previous two streams, this is the uh, Don't Steal Anything Challenge. So all the rules are up in the pointing, pointing top right, which is uh, can't use the steal command in combat, can't open chests or pick up random items unless they are... Uh, necessary to progress the plot as we found in uh, Gizama Luke's Grotto in the last stream where we had to open up just to get a bell. Um, all items gained in battle get added to the loot list above my head and get sold at the next available opportunity. We are currently sans loot which is good and we also can't do chocobo hot and cold because archaeology is stealing from the ground. Uh, we are... Oh it's on B isn't it? Ugh. Hideous. Uh, we are making our way to Bermesia, which is very sad and very rainy. It's basically England. Uh, all your challenges mean no chocobo. Yeah, maybe also maybe the next challenge should just be like, do everything involving chocobos. <laughs> you can't, er everything else is filler, just focus on the chocobos. That's what the crowd want. Um, now let's see, if memory serves, yes, I, I look at that, I did it perfectly. The camera's pointing exactly where I want to go. Next challenge only chocobos. I'll have to think think how I could possibly uh, factor that in. Right, let's make sure people have got stuff equipped first of all, because we did beat uh, our boy Kazama Luke last time, and I might have learnt some stuff now, which could be useful. I think you're fine. Still learning that. Uh, I don't think I've got any better things there. Sorry, this is just the housekeeping section I need to do to make sure I'm learning stuff. You're not learning anything off Desert Boots, so why have you got them on? Eh, keep them on for now. Uh, still fine, still fine. Oh, no, not still fine. Eh, it's quite a dip in defense. It's fine, we'll learn it. That's fine, that's fine. Whatever. See, I feel like... No, you're still learning Blizzard, that's fine. So you can keep it for a little bit longer, and that, and that's fine. Hey Babas Bowie, now I want to try some Choco Nuggets. I mean, I imagine Chocobo is the best damn chicken you've ever eaten. Good to see you again, Babas. Uh, right, let's... Wait, hold on. Abilities. Have you not got... Well, I still get some corn. That gets me in trouble. Right, yo, let's Oniva. Now, there is... Uh, there's some chests in there. I don't. Is there a trade? Wait, is there a trader in there? I can't remember. Let's check it out. Oh well, first of all, other issues have presented themselves. So the loot list needs to be added to, possibly. Oh, hello, friendo. Zidane bonk it on the head. Well, you bonked it real good. That was a drive-by bonking. Okay. Did we get any items? Maybe leveled up? That's good. No items. Good. Is that a dino with a knife? Oh, Frenchie. There are so many weird and crazy monsters in this game. Who's to say? Was it a dino with a knife or was it a knife with a dino? We'll never know. Um... Oh yeah, that's right. So we can't open up those chests. <laughs> Queena just cracks on doing. Queena does Queena, so that's fine. I think there's somebody here that will sell us stuff behind the door. I'm pretty sure. I will be very careful not to... Oh no, I opened the chest. Okay, never mind. We have to reload. I was... I just need to check that there's not... No. I thought there was a... Maybe it's a different gate I'm thinking of. I'm sure there was a gate where there was uh, a guy behind it who sold stuff, but clearly that exclamation mark was the wrong one. So we'll just reload. Because we didn't get that far anyway, so it's okay. This is Final Fantasy. Sentient knives that wield diners isn't the craziest concept here. Totally agree. 100% agree. Final Fantasy has a lot of crazy ideas. Oh, and also, since we're reloading, and I've got a pause, here's your ASMR for this evening. 
Hopefully that caught on the camera. Camera? Microphone. God, I'm tired. Tell it's Friday. Right, there we go. But I hope you've all had a lovely week and have div um, have fun plans for the weekend. My point out. Did it again. Perfect. Delicious ASMR. I'll hurt its legs. Uh, yes, the ASMR is what people come for. <laughs> Right, let's do that again. But this time with less stealing involved. That plop was a crispy 9 out of 10. Fantastic. Oh, hello, friendos. Now there's two of you, eh? Well, we know the drill. Now, I am tempted. Yeah. Let's see if uh, we can't get uh, Queena to eat one of them, because, you know. Ah, you know, protect her. Interesting. Well, gobble him up, Queen, if you can. No, it needs to be weaker, right? Eh? That's fine. So then, give him another chunk on the head. Okay, you're starting to do a bit of damage to Vivi. Not thrilled about that. And still alive. Okay. Might be taking this a bit too casually. <laughs> Assuming one of them survives, eat them. Well, the Skelly Man's still alive. Okay. Can you eat him? Will you eat him? Hey, pumpkin head. What does that do when it's at home? I forget. Let's find out together. Still no items received though. That's good. That saves us a problem. Uh, what is pumpkin head, do we reckon? Uh, damages with the difference between your max AP, HP and current HP. That's okay. Not super helpful right now, but later on that will be a useful skill. Uh, Vivi did get tonked a little bit there. Mm. Just do that for now. That should be fine. Right, let's go to Bermisia where things are sad and wet and miserable. Here we are. Now, there are lots of treasure chests around here, and we can't open any of them, but the good news about that is some of them are mimics, so we don't have to risk any mimic fights. We can just mosey on through. The realm of eternal rain, aka England. Okay, here we go. Run, 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 run. Hey, clown boys! Welcome to the UK. <laughs> yeah, you throw your black mages at us. All about killing these boyos. Oh god, that's terrible, ATB. Yeah, didn't. Not a huge fan of that. Luckily, Zidane can one shot them, which makes life a bit easier. Unfortunately, they can do that. Definitely need to buy some more potions when we find our next... When is our next trader? Yeesh, I don't even know. Well. That'll do the trick. Good job, Freya. Yeah, there's something weird about, like... I, I never... Full, hey, you've learnt Blizzard. Fantastic. And no items still. Great stuff. So... Oh yeah, we're coming up to our first Beatrix fight. 
tasty. Okay. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. So, we're going to take... Oh, right. Hold on. Take that off you. Give you that. Seek something antibody. This challenge should be called stimulating the local economy. Yes, I'm I'm doing my part for small local businesses. Um, that's the lie I'm telling myself anyway. Antibody is useful. We'll have that. Now, brain work. Brain do the stuff that I need you to do. Is it worth going in here? Yes, this is the floor with all the stuff. Ah, but I need that to fall down first. Can't wait for the nonsensical tax mechanic then. Oh, yeah, so absolutely. So I will only uh, stimulate the economy if the day has a has the letter P in it. And you also have to return 15% of what I'm calling the um, Ultima profit, which is connected to inflation, but will follow the baseline economy I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Eco economics! Yay! Fights! Yay! Well, let's just all agree the economy's fucked and move on with our lives. Still makes more sense than doing your own UK taxes. 100%. Right, now these things can steal from you. Yep. Not a fan of that. You don't steal from me. Oh. No, not Queen is MP. And don't forget to pay two years in advance. Wouldn't want to end up in Fantasy Prison, would you? Fantasy Prison is the worst, Babas Bowie. Yeah, exactly. They, these, these things aren't listening to the fact that it's the no stealing challenge. They're, they're not playing ball. Although if I have learned anything from fantasy games is that ending up in fantasy jail is kind of a requisite of being a hero. You can't be a hero without going to prison. Right, we gained an ether. Let's chalk that up on the loot list. Ether times one. Good, 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 good. In here, please. Don't open any chests. Don't open any chests. Round across here. So normally you'd want to walk across here to get that chest at the end, but since I don't care about getting the chest... You're not going to let me drop down either. No, I'm going to have to go around the long way. That's fine. It is what it is. So we have to go back across to the first room. And there's a, there's a wee fella in there that gives us permission to take a bell because everything around here is based on using bells. To it's a weird system. Bells are like keys around here. Where are you? So, you're going to give me permission. Get the bell by the bed. See? Permission. Check under the bed. There we go. Didn't steal it. Got given permission. So it's kind of weird. Like I was realising the other day, it's kind of like a speed run without the speed, this. We're <laughs> basically ignoring so many things. Uh, what happens when they run out of materials to make the bells? Are people just stuck where they are? I mean, what happens when we run out of material to make coins? Although nobody uses... I feel like I feel like physical money is like a bit of a dying thing these days. Everything's digital. Also, their economy must be terrible because their bells shatter each time you use it. It's basically like having a key, but each time you use the key, it breaks. Only boomers use coins. <laughs> right. We meet some friendos of Freyas here. <laughs> Who, like, in a world of fantasy names where you've got Freya, Zidane, Vivi, Queena, Freya's about to meet her good friend and uh, Bermesian ally, who has the name Dan. 
Good old Bermesian soldier, Dan. Ah, yes. Dan. <laughs> I fear the name Dan. Thank God for this money. There's no downside to a theoretical economy whatsoever. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, life, is, life is... You have to laugh at life sometimes. So, uh, what's happening in the game? Um, we're trying to find the King of Bermesia. Everybody else is like, yeah, fuck this noise, we're leaving because black mages are attacking everywhere. We're like, nah. We be heroing. Case in point, we're going to save these friendos. <laughs> Frenchy, I laugh at life every day. Like, life you lost when, I, when you were... When you allow me to play, boy. <laughs> yeah, life is the game, and the only way to win is by doing it. <laughs> Screw you, life. Uh, missed last stream. Yeah, so the the queen is... Um, we don't really know what's going on with the queen at the moment. Um, Dagger roofied everybody. Um... And what else happened? Else happened last stream. <laughs> yeah, Dagger Dagger borrowed some uh, some sleeping weed. The game's terminology, not mine. Um, yes, and Queena is <laughs> Queena is our new queen. Uh, Frenchie's quite taken with Queena. Hello, Moogle. <gasps> you have a shop. Fantastic. I can sell that ether. Good stuff. The loot list is cleared. Harumble. Now, what have you got to buy? Oops. I kicked off. Okay. Some better things here. What does headgear do? Water damage reduced. I don't think that makes any difference in the immediacy. Right, let's just start seeing how much we can buy. We went on a bit of a shopping spree. Uh, is that Quistus's cousin or something? Uh, I mean, they are both blue mages. Actually, yeah, that's a very fair point. They, they are linked by class, if, if not necessarily by bloodline. Um, I'm going to walk away before Frenchie gets really angry. Distant cousins. <laughs> Uh, right, let, I'm not going to upgrade your weapon if I can get better things for everybody else. So let's focus on who I care about. Mithril gloves for you. Mm, Major hat would be good. Yeah, let's get three of those. Oof, that's expensive. The barber for you. Um, I'm going to spend all my money again. I know I am. Very, very, very distant. Uh, I do need some potions, though. That is something I kind of can't ignore. Luckily, that's okay. That's okay. Maybe I will, I will get you a glass armor. Uh, thank you for the subscription, Vrenchy. Very, very kind of you. Thank you. I didn't see anything pop up on the screen for some reason, which is weird, but hey-ho. Um, appreciado, as always. Thank you. I, just heard the, I heard the triumphant music, and I was like, good enough for me. Um, very, very kind. Uh, let's see now. I am going to get one of these. I'm going to do it. I'm going to live a little. I'm going to live like an absolute legend. Right. Uh, okay. So we are coming up. So we're coming to a fight against uh, Beatrix. And Beatrix is bay, but Beatrix is also very dangerous. We don't have to beat Beatrix. We just have to survive Beatrix. Now I have access to the cat again. <laughs> so I think what we'll do is we'll get... Another three of those to keep ourselves topped up. I'm tempted to get a few more of these. Maybe another five. Ugh, do I want another tent? Yeah, while well, I've got some money. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, so now I've bought that tent, I now have two, which just gives me a bit of a, a cushion. 
I shouldn't really need that many in a row. I can normally stock, stock up, but hey-ho. Uh, I'll keep some money, though. Yeah, that'll do for now. Uh, save, please. Now, I need uh, that picks up something I seem to remember. I did just save. I think that I think that picks up something, so I can't do it, which means Stiltskin won't turn up. Okay, so also I need you. I need chat to help me out with something. I know how I'm leaning on this, but I'll open up to chat. So hold on, let me just show you something. If we go into that other building on the left-hand side, um, Freya is just going to help herself to a spear. Now, I think that's stealing because it's not Freya's spear. We, we, we haven't paid for it. We've stolen it. However, this is Freya's kingdom. So, is it stealing? I think it is. I think that would count as stealing. And the problem is I have no say in it if I go into that building. What is Freya's rank? She's a... General? I think she's a fairly high rank. She's a Dragoon Knight, so she's a fairly high ranking member of their society. I'm going to say it's stealing. I feel like it's stealing if I go in there and take that, so we're just going to move on. Um, do I want to use a tent? No. But do I get to use... Because it's wartime, so it's normal to take things for the army, but it's just a civilian house. It's there. So it's kind of in an armory, if memory serves, but I still think I'm going to lean into, I think it's stealing, so I'm not going to do it. Oh, I, I should have healed before I went up here. Never mind. I'm sure I'll be alright. No thievery today, sir. Uh, leave her alone. And then she's like, Ha! Fray her away! Luckily Zidane can jump a little bit. Uh, Vivi... Not so much. So we're just going to make our own way up and let them figure out their own route. Our gifts and welfare checks are how to disrupt. <laughs> I feel like we're straying into a weird, like, over-analytical territory. <laughs> uh, there's Beatrix, and there's the Queen. And Frenchie, you get to meet your old favourite again from the last time I streamed this game. It's been a couple of years, so you might not remember. A certain individual. Oh, you'll know when you see them. Not this chap, by the way. This is Freya's uh, missing love. Who disappeared and she hasn't been able to find him. Which is a plot that plays out. This guy! Remember him, Frenchie? <laughs> it's Thong Man! <laughs> Right, I haven't checked my equipment properly, and I'm really, really hoping that it gives me a chance to check it before I go into fight, but I think it doesn't, so I'm going to have to just hope everything's set up right. But yeah, one of uh, the Burmesian soldiers has just decided to go Leroy Jenkins it, but now realises that that's probably not a good idea. 
So we're going to hop in and help. Luckily our friends turn up, but just didn't turn up in time to get murderized. Beatrix is no joke. We have to just survive. <laughs> it is possible to, like, damage... Uh, do enough damage to survive the fight, but to be honest... You're better off just picking people up when they go down. We don't want to steal anything either, so we're just going to wait this one out. Actually, maybe I can use Soul Blade on her to try and blind her. Ah, oh, she's guarding against it. That's fine. Oof, she hits so hard. Oh yeah, this this is her like, I'm gonna kill you all, it's over already, kind of. Right, that's somebody going down. Sedan. Luckily, like I said, all we have to do is survive, so if we just have keep, keep, keep picking people up when they go down. And we'll be A-okay. Wow, you do not like Sedan, huh? You can, there's still fireworks where you are, Frenchie? What on earth? I've got no excuse for it this time. No idea. <laughs> that was someone got shot. Well, let's hope it's fireworks, eh? Ah, Thunder Slash is annoying. Come on, Beatrix, finish us off. Not like that. You silly goose. I think she has like 10 turns. She must be getting towards the end of it now. Running out of Phoenix Downs at this rate. This is why I stocked up, though, to be fair. There we go. We survived it. <laughs> Vivi can do it solo. <laughs> yeah, she's too good for us. Oh yes, but remember Frenchie, in the last stream you were like, oh why, when we met Freya, was there a picture of her in the rain? There you go. This is the picture time. It is indeed. Somebody caught her at her lowest moment. With Thong Man lording it over them all. Oh, Vivi, no. <laughs> so this is Kuja, to give him his proper name. <laughs> And he has a cool silver dragon that he rides around on. He's basically kind of cool. <laughs> why, is, why is he the definition of extra? <laughs> but yeah, that's the end of disc one. So we're on course. We're maintaining our normal stream speed, which is good. This is like the disc two recap, but we don't really care about this. So now we join back up with uh, Dagger and Steiner. Oh, did we get, no, we didn't get any loot from that fight because that fight just ends, doesn't it?
Right. Good stuff. So we have to wait here for the... They have a weird, like, trolley system where one goes down, one goes up on the other side of the mountain. So we've just got to sit tight until the other one turns up now. But, plenty more adventure still awaits. Right, first of all... What... So I didn't even equip them with the new stuff. I went for that fight completely underprepared. Oh well, we learned it was all good. We learned something. So you can have the major set. Have that. Oh, you can have one of those as well. And you're still learning shell, that's fine. And then you. Uh better to be kitted out, I imagine. That. That. Oh, nothing there for you. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Antibody and jelly. Uh, kind of that. Cover would be good. Well, that's not gonna be important. Just for yeah. Well, I think I can have both. I can. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to meet up with some old acquaintances while we're here. Moogle! I think there is a shop here as well, so stock up on a few bits and pieces. I don't think I actually needed to use all those Phoenix Downs. I couldn't remember if you got like AP at the end of the Beatrix fight. I don't. Looking back on it now, I don't think you do. I think it just ends. Uh, Stein's profile picture does not fit him at all. He looks so angry. I mean, he is an... In his own way, he is an angry boy. But he's just a very kind of, like... Noble angry boy. You want... Are you the... Sh oh, wait. That's... So that's the car going. Aha! But you're not the shop. Are you the shop? Do you have... I thought there was a shop here. Maybe I'm going crazy. Anyway. Look who it is! It's Marcus and uh, Sinner. We get to remind them that stealing is wrong now as well. <laughs> so as usual, they... Uh, have a difference of opinion with Steiner. <laughs> uh, but it turns out that these two are looking to get something to save our boy uh, Blank. Remember the one who got uh, petrified in the forest. So good news, uh, Frenchie, even though he has a stupid name, we're going to still save him. He's being scolded. How embarrassing. <laughs> okay. Oh yes, yeah, so we're heading off to a very fun city called uh, uh, Traino. Now I'm sure you sell stuff. I'm sure you sell stuff. I guess you don't. His name is Blank. It's so dumb. Is it Blank because it was a Blank on his birth certificate? Stranger things have happened, Frenchie. Right, we're just going to get on the train. I don't care about the backstory or the plot. We're going. Because we have a boss fight against another old friend coming up as well.
Why do we? How do we? How do we finish with this? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, Dagon decides she wants to offer to help with the whole blank situation because she feels guilty. Um, but first of all, we've got an old friend to beat up. A demon with a pointy hat, you say? Hey, check it out! It's our boy! He's still alive! Ugh, <laughs> still going. Now, there is a cool thing you can do in this fight, but I'm not going to do it because it would require using up some more... Um, although I might end up doing it by accident. Um, if Dagger is the only one left alive, uh, he'll just start to break his own neck. It's really weird, but uh, it is a thing that happens. I think the only ones he'll actually go to hit are Marcus and Steiner. He might end up doing it, but we'll find out. Blizzard, eh? Well, that's the end of that's the end of Marcus. Oh yeah, the the boss fight music is fantastic. <laughs> Such a bop. Yeah, I don't want you really to do that. So I'm going to ask that you don't. And chop. No, don't set Steiner on fire. Okay. There we go, Steiner. Give him the old one-two smackaroo. Good job, buddy. Do we get any items? Nope. That makes life easier. Okay, let's head on down the rails now that we've killed him. But that is the end of the Black Waltzes now. Which is kind of a shame. I thought they were quite a cool uh, little boss trio. So yeah, this is basically just uh, Dagger being like, I'll help you. So we're going to head to the city of Treno. Where there are a couple of things that we won't be able to do. <laughs> Bye then. Uh, you're dead. Which is unfortunate, but kind of not my fault. I think there's a shop down here. There is a shop down here. Hooray! I love how she says a lot's happened and it feels like it, this is all developed in like two days. Yeah, it's literally like, I think canonically, it's literally been like, yeah, like two or three days. So possibly a little bit more. They don't quite account for like travel time across certain distances and stuff. But yeah, not more than a week. Um, let's get one more finish down because I like round numbers. Everything else is fine. And we don't have anything to sell, nothing on the loot list, so... Just going to move on, I guess. Uh, now, we can... No, there's no point doing that. You can go double back and go back to Dali. But that's only to steal stuff. And we don't steal stuff. Because we're good. We're good people. So we're not going to bother with that. There's also a whole load of money right in there. But we can't take it. So we're going to ignore it. Gate pass provided. Gate lowered. And away! Right, call our Moogle friend. 
the fact that nobody recognizes Dagger, even though she's done nothing to disguise herself physically, uh, is kind of one of those like plot points you just got to take with a pinch of salt. It's like, I guess they kind of like would be like, it'd be like if you went down Tesco's and saw like the king or something, you'd be like, nah, couldn't be him. No way. He would be shopping in Tesco. He's more of a Sainsbury's guy. Um, that's a joke that only British people will get. Uh, let's save that. Well, let's say we're upstanding citizens calling as good as a fair. Yeah, to be fair, upstanding citizens is closer to the truth. I'll give you that one. <laughs> uh, I can't remember if I just saved or not, so I'm going to do it again because saving is caring. Dagger's only level four. What level is everybody else? I can't remember. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Uh, so we need to go. Ow. Oh, it's this thing. There's no point doing this because we can't actually do it. So, these are like these mysterious uh, friendly creatures, as you can tell from the different background music. <laughs> Marcus, still chilling out on the job. But we're not going to be able to... I don't think you can buy all, but just on the off chance that we can, I'll give it a go. Same overworld assets as fun of my seeing things. Uh, probably got some core DNA in them, but different stylistically. Hey, you learn protect. Oh, you do get a lot of AP out of those fights, so it was worth doing that. Oh, we got a high potion though. We we'll have to sell that as soon as we can. Although technically, we didn't kill this thing; it gave it to us. Interesting. Does this count as stealing? Chat, help me out. We didn't kill this monster. It handed it over willingly, technically. So, does this count? Yeah, no, I don't think this is stealing. I think we're going to keep that. I agree. We didn't kill it. We're not looting its corpse. It left it behind as a present. So that means it's ours. I will take it. Big gains, exactly. See, you act... If you act nice in the world, I did. I swapped my ore for it. Exactly. There was a there was a, a quid pro quo situation going on there. So dagger dagger be doing dagger here, and dagger just walks off because dagger has no self preservation skills. And then Marcus, just to complete the act, walks off in the other direction. Gone. <laughs> now, there is one of these things we do need to do. If we do this little side thingy. Good. We give chase to this fella. She loses 500 gil initially, but... We're going to get it back with interest. Uh, for your thumbnail, Jody, there's a split second where Dagger screamed, no stealing. Yeah, I should probably try and grab that. I'll have to try and, like, freeze frame that exact moment. So, Dagger lose track of him, but we know where he is. Also, this is a four-armed man for anybody that is a, a fan of Final Fantasy lore. But we're going to go and catch up with him as Steiner. Because you've got something for us, haven't you, friendo? So he stole from us. So as punishment, we're going to threaten him until he gives us two kobolds in a trench coat. Exactly, French. You know exactly where I was going with this. So he gets intimidated by Steiner and gives us the thing he bought with the money. So it is our money that he has used to buy something. And now it is ours. Which is good. We like this. Uh, and you can have that straight away. Because it gives you counter. Which is a fantastic ability. Uh, let's get rid of some of these. We can also have MP attack. Don't need that. Don't really need that. There you go. Perfect. Uh, no, for anybody, to go back to my original point, it is not two kobolds in a trench coat. That is uh, Gilgamesh, who is a recurring 
character across most of the Final Fantasies. I don't know if he's in all of them, but he's definitely in a lot of them. Not you. I want to buy stuff, please. Oh, I don't have any money. <laughs> oh no, I spent all my money on junk. Okay, this is fine. We can work around this. Consider your mind blown. Well, that's what I'm here for, Babas. I'm here to to blow mines and to drink milk. Um, right. Okay, now that's fine. These are actually older things that we don't need, so that's fine. A cotton robe would be good for her, but we don't have any... Oh, it's a synthesis shop. That's why we need to go and get some things from somewhere. Sit tight, good sir. Wait, what can you make? I've already got some desert boots, haven't I? They're on VV, so that's pointless. Let's not get another one of those. Sit tight, good sir. I'll be back with money and materials and all the other junk. Uh, I forget. If I need to watch any of these. Oh no, this is uh, there's cats everywhere here though, which is nice. Uh, Dagger finds a drunk friend. This is who I base all my old characters off in D&D. And we let, uh, we let Dagger go on her way. So, where do I need to go? If I go, um, memory, bring it back. You love him. <laughs> oh, that's right, this is the auction hall. Look, it's Thong Man! But we don't know him as Thong Man. We don't know him at all. Uh, this is... Wait, steer. This is a card tournament place that we're forced to come back to later on, but we don't need to worry about it right now. I think I went the wrong way, though. What's up this way? Ah, that's that. And we won't be able to do that, so there's no point worrying about that. That's a... There's a kind of a... a coin collecting thing. JD, absolutely everyone knows him as Thong Man. <laughs> I mean, if you didn't know his real name, I assume that would be your go-to um, nickname for him. Definitely. Oh, wait, there is a weapon shop here. Oh, wait, there's also a safe Moogle. God, memories. We need to scare the Moogle out. There he goes. Doggy chases him. Move, please. One save, please. Hold on, I've got some things in weird places on the screen here. <laughs> Have you seen Kuja? Who? You know the guy in the thong? Oh yeah, thong man, dude. What would Steiner be known as then? If you looked at Steiner and didn't know his name. Hello. Uh, oh, you got some good stuff and I want it. Oh, wait. I can get you some better things though. Eyelash Man. Eyelash Man's pretty good. Doggos and cats living in harmony. This place might be close to heaven. Yeah, everybody rips it as being like this dark, miserable, seedy town. But, you know, the cats and the dogs are getting along. So... Can't be all bad. Oh, so many things I need here. And I don't have any money. <laughs> oh, God, there's so many things I need here. Ugh. I might have to try and just brute force my way through till... Well, let's see. Let's try and think ahead. What's coming up? We have to go through there. There's no point worrying about upgrading everybody else. Let's just focus on getting our people up to strength. Uh... Oh, there's so few things I can afford. Bone wrists would be good. I'll just get one. Oh, this is becoming the Sophie's choice of spending money. <laughs> Humans are miserable, miserable regardless of where we are. At least our pets are happy. I mean, I don't know if I, like... I'd like to believe, like, 
reincarnation as a thing. If it if it's true and it is and it does happen to me, I'd love to come back as a cat, man. That'd be to me. That'd be like ascending to the next level, you know. Being a cat would be awesome. Right. How on earth am I going to manage this with such limited supply of money? Uh, a bandana seems useful. Although, I could get her a better weapon. You know what? I'm going to get her a better weapon. And now I'm poor. I've probably got some stuff I can sell, but... Um, I have to sell some stuff, aren't I? What can I sell? Need to keep the dagger. I don't think I need the leather hat anymore. Do I need the leather shirt? Probably not. Um, God, I don't have a lot, do I? Sell the feather hat and the leather wrist. What can I buy now? Not much. <laughs> uh, so I've, I bought you a bone wrist. I can't afford that. Can't afford anything nice. I can't have nice things. Okay, you know what? We're just going to improvise. Which is what I do best. Is Dagger in here? I can never remember. There she is. This whole shopping experience is too close to home. I know, like, I want to buy this, but I have no money. Yeah. But yes, Dagger feels like she's seen Thong Man before, which is strange. Ah, now we have her in the party, so now we can give her a new shiny stuff, which is good because she has learned everything there. Oh, life is good. That was a good choice. Well done. Well done, brain. Uh, so, bonus does give a better defense. Or better evasion, anyway. You know what? That'll do for now. Oh, wait. Can you have any abilities now? No, just those, though. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, out me way, people. I need more money. Half tempted to sell that high potion I got off that creature just because it would get me a bit more money. Uh, now, if memory serves... Oh, wait, I've gone... I haven't gone entirely the wrong way. I've gone a little bit the wrong way. Actually, is there anything I can even pick up in that other area? There is a shop, but I've got no money. In fact, let's ignore it. Oh, wait, no, I remember where he is now. He is in that place I need to go to. I was paying attention. <laughs> sort of. Here's a good trade offer. I received the item of my choice and you get a dollar or something. I don't know. It's certainly more than what you would get if I stole it. <laughs> See, that's called negotiation, Babas. That's how you negotiate. How about I give you no money and if you don't like those terms, I stab you in the neck a little bit? You know, negotiation. No, don't go back out the door, dagger. I thought my steering days were over in this game. Go down here. Go down there. You are. I'm ready. This is a no stealing channel. Extortion and threats aren't stealing. Exactly. It's creative negotiation. Um. But before we consider our, how in-game we're going to go on a bit of a stealing thing here, although again, technically, we don't steal. We get given the thing we're after, but we are planning to steal it. It's complicated. Anyway, uh, I'm going to take a quick break there. Uh, so I'll be back in, I don't know, two minutes. Bear with me, guys.
And back. And you give me three minutes. That's very generous of you, Beba. So I am, you can colour me appreciative. Right. Let's boogie on, shall we? And pretend I didn't use the term boogie on. So Stein is going to give chase in a very braid fashion. We're going to ignore him. Also, if anybody hasn't played Braid, go play Braid. Braid's a good game. <laughs> Hot tip on a really, really old game. <laughs> uh, braid is like a... Uh, like the top one, as in when you braid your hair. It's like a, an indie 2D puzzle platformer type thing. It's good. It has timey-wimey mechanics in it. Meanwhile, Thongman has his evil theme tune playing, so he must be up to evil. He plot he be plotting, basically. So, we're going to leave him to his business. Kitchen the Auctioneer are a couple. I mean, they're certainly... Uh, I, I don't doubt that there's fan fiction backing that up, Frenchie. So, I think we could prove you right. Very possibly. So, we have a bit of internal monologue where Stein is like, Am I really thieving? Like, I thought the whole point of this was not to be a thief. And Dagger is equally like, um, I'm only thieving because Zidane made me thieve. But this fella right here is Dr. Tot, who is uh, Dagger's old tutor. So she's just like, hello! She misses the idea of like being stealthy while you're stealing stuff. But it works out in the, our interest because it means that Dr. Tot just hands over the thing we're looking for rather than us stealing it. So the no steal challenge continues. Right, let's go meet up with our old professor. Oh wait, hold on. Are these kids here? There's some kids here with like a true understanding of the world. Here they are. Take a good look around, Mario. We're gonna get out of this slum someday and live in a mansion on the waterfront. We're gonna become nobles, right, sis? And then I think they say, we're gonna become nobles someday. Uh, where is it? I'm sure they keep talking about it. Oh no, it was in, it's in a, it's not now, it's in one of the little kind of mini cutscenes, I probably missed it. But they're like, they're basically like saying, oh we hate the rich, we hate the rich. One day we're going to be rich. And then we'll hate the poor people. Fable 2, oh yeah, definitely, there's, there's a sort of, um, a sort of medieval kind of slightly tongue-in-cheek charm to this whole city that is very Fable-esque. Especially with the slum area and what have you. Hello! Them versus us mentality in a nutshell. Basically, basically. So he's going to just willingly hand over the, um, the super soft, which is the thing we're after. And then we have a flashback to Young Dagger. His name is really Tot. Yeah, his name's Tot. He's Dr. Tot. But here we prove that uh, Dagger's colour coordination is on point throughout her life. Doesn't matter how old she is, it's orange and white all the way, baby.
Got to stay on brand. Uh, DTP Gilgamesh. A kick in the door like cool, man. How's it going, people? Good to... Hey, hey, Gilgamesh. How's it going, buddy? We've just been meeting your namesake in Traino. Uh, would you go to Dr. Death's appointments? I sure would. <laughs> Hey, buddy. <laughs> um, this is the uh, we're doing a, a don't steal run. Uh, so trying not to trying to go through the game without stealing anything and just having a bit of fun along the way. Uh, this is going to be the bit with the what are they called gargants. They're like big insect things. Well, here's the thing, Gilgamesh. The problem is, if we're not stealing anything, I think we're going to get a very low ranking on our certificate by the time we... Hey, go... No, up. Up we go. There we go. Going to get a very low ranking on our certificate. Right. Garganru. That's the name of the place. I remember now. So I can never remember which way around to do this, but there's a fairly unique transportation system down here. And as usual, we have to do it. <laughs> we have to do all the jobs. Uh, you can get S from Chocobo Treasure and carrying one of them. Yeah, but unfortunately, uh, so <laughs> it's such a good point. So up in the, oh no, I always have to, my, my camera's reversed. Which way is, point, that way. Top right of the of the of the stream is the rules of the Chandra, and unfortunately, Chocobo Hot and Cold is not included. I've decided that archaeology is stealing from the ground, so no Chocobo treasure to make our life easier in any way whatsoever. Unfortunately, um, what do I need to do? Let's just check my equipment real quick. I don't care if Steiner dies, um, Marcus dies really, so he can just have basic stuff. Who cares? But we will save. Because saving is caring. Right. God, we need some money. We're so poor. <laughs> okay. Let's try down this way first. Ah, no worries, Gilgamesh. You know, it's first time popping in. I appreciate you swinging by to have a look at the stream. And they are very small up in the corner. Have I gone the wrong way immediately? I need to get into there. Do I see the other way? Must be the other way first. Oh, I'm exactly the same. I, honestly, this is the third third stream, and I've had to fight every instinct inside of me not to open every chest I've seen. It, it's such an instinctive thing in this game to open up everything you see. Oh, you know Fira? That's a problem. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it might be. Although you're doing no damage. Neither are you. Huh, this isn't doing a lot of damage to him. Can I do something else to make him hurt? <laughs> You've only got defensive stuff, so... No. Oh, that was a big hit. Not a fan of that. God damn, what are you made of? This is a sturdy boy. If it wasn't for the fact that I need some money, I'd just run away, but I kind of want to kill this thing. Damn. Now, oh, buzz is a problem. Actually, no, it's not that much of a problem. It just means he'll attack on his own. There you go, he's dead now anyway. I don't like you. You were unpleasant to deal with. Please don't do that again. <laughs> Uh, 
Right. Nothing to add to the loot list. That's good. A bit of extra money is very good. We've definitely gone the wrong way, though. So let's double back on ourselves, because that's clearly not the way to go. Oh, now be careful not to... There we go. That's the one. Bugs continue to be problematic in fact. Bugs continue to be problematic in all forms of life, Frenchie, unfortunately. It is their want. There we go, now it's open. Oh wait, no, I have to be up here first and then pull the feed trigger. There it is. I like how Dr. Tot pulls this lever later on. Here it comes. That's a gargant. They are unpleasant to look at, but helpful in their own way. Uh, out of my way, top. Pull the lever! Right, everybody hop on board, and we're off. Fare thee well, princess. But yeah, I love how he how he pulls the lever here. It's very cartoony. Uh, hop. <laughs> right. We have a boss fight coming up, which I don't feel confident about, seeing as how we struggled to beat one bug. But we'll see how it goes. Dagger self-preservation skills continue to not function. Right, yo. So this is like a classic Final Fantasy boss, and it? it has a phase where it coils itself up, and you're not supposed to hit it when it coils itself up. Oh look, a giant worm thing. I'm a pet it! That's exactly what she was thinking. Miss? That's irritating. That's okay, don't care about that. Now Stagger, could Steiner, could you try and hit it this time? You know. There you go, see? Isn't life easier when you hit it? Okay, not a fan. Probably being a bit too liberal with that, but it's fine. Ah, see, string's irritating. Don't use string. Chop. Why is Dagger's health so low? Don't know. Oh wait, does it coil up in the next time we fight it? I can't remember. We have to fight this thing twice, is all I remember. Oh, there you go, he's got counter-attack going off there as well, so that's good. <laughs> Stop kissing me. <laughs> there you go, he's off. That was fine. That went, that went pretty smoothly. Jobs are good and... The commentary is getting progressively more sus since you mentioned the worm thing. <laughs> what can I say? I uh, I give the people what they want. If sus commentary is what people want, I'm here for it. So here we, we do very stupid things. We didn't get any items off that battle, did we? I wasn't paying any attention. No, because it escaped. We didn't technically win. So it just ran away. Right? 
No items. Fantastic. I just only thought, I don't remember seeing any items pop up, but then again, I don't remember checking. So, I think we're good. This whole area feels like a trap. Oh, guess what? It's a trap. Yep, definitely a trap. Hey, clown boys! So yeah, things aren't going exactly to plan. Uh, we've just found out that the Queen has basically ordered them to kill Garnet if they have to. Which is an issue. Why is the game... Oh, good. For a second I thought the game had crashed. Meanwhile... <laughs> never a dull moment. The Queen would never... I, I, I'm shocked too, Babas. Is Dagger adopted? <laughs> I'm not saying anything. You are very, very good though, Frenchie, asking exactly the right questions for this game. <laughs> You're not a very creative negotiator, are you? To borrow a phrase from earlier in the game. Right, we're going to Clara. Clara is a whole thing. Right, first things first. Let's check what I can equip myself with. Still using the ogre, that's fine. Yeah, Clara, yeah. I did warn you, Frenchie, like a lot of stuff I use in D&D is like lifted slash borrowed from Final Fantasy. Uh, let's see, there's no, you want that really, so you can learn slow. You're getting PTSD. <laughs> So I don't think you want that. I think we should give that to you. For reasons. So you don't sit in the game, but you're still from the game. Yep. I'm, what can I say? I'm a walking contradiction. I choose the path of least resistance and the one that gets me what I want. Uh, we could have bought some new staffs for VV, but we didn't because we didn't have any money. So we're going to have to improvise a wee bit here. But it should be fine. Uh, you still learn stuff off that. That'd be worse. Still got a little bit to go on that. I just gave you that. That's better defensively. Still learning millionaire. That's fine. Okay. Oh, jelly's good. We'll have jelly. Don't want either of those other ones, though. You're good. Cover's dangerous. Let's not worry about cover. Uh, no one's know the context to clear in your D&D campaign. It's a long story to kind of try and cover that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think Frenchie, Frenchie's uh, summed up. Uh, uh, right, let's call in our save, Moogle. One Savingtons, please. We have 800 gil. We need more monies. Uh, now, where is Clara? Oh, yeah, it's over there. We have to kind of go round and here. <laughs> I have to read this. TLDR, we had an airship and recruited her to help an NPC romance her. A dedicated player a discussion stream confirm. <laughs> I'd have to bring on everybody to even start scratching the surface of that. <laughs> a dedicated D&D stream. You know what? You, you see a lot of them. And I have been tempted in the past. Just please stop hitting VV. It is uncool. Ah, you're going to cast that on yourself, eh? 
But if that's the case... Never mind, didn't do anything. <laughs> right, don't let me forget to check for items at the end of the fight. No items. Good stuff. They play Wingman for NPCs. That's a rookie mistake if I've ever seen one. <laughs> yeah, you're basically confirming that that character will have a bad time. Ah, come on. Ah, skelly bobs. Oh, that took a while. It was kind of... <laughs> You're just making it sound more mysterious, Frenchie. I'm going to be honest with you. You're layering the intrigue now. 22. Ugh. Right, that one is dead. Uh, I, uh, they're going to keep casting spells, though. There we go. One dead skelly bob. I think I'm doing his PR for the upcoming D&D recap of <laughs> I feel like D&D's one of those things though. Oop, potion. Add it to the list. D&D's one of those things where I love D&D, but when people talk about their D&D campaign with other people, there's never that same, sort of same connection with the, with the material, so it's always like, oh, that sounds interesting, but that's about as far as it goes, really. Looks like you haven't been out dating or kidnappings are like the go-to dating app. <laughs> yeah, if you can't date somebody, kidnap them. Life lessons. Uh, so there's a sandstorm around this place. This place actually, as a design, is really cool. It's basically just like a massive tree with like an eternal sandstorm around it to protect it. I don't know how they do their shopping, but um, conceptually it's cool. So we've got to climb all the way up this big old tree without collecting any of the, any of the goodies that are contained within its many branches. Ah, oh, sad times. Um, pull this, that's right. It's the Avatar tree. I mean... Technically, the avatar tree is later, but yes, this is a, 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 an avatar adjacent tree. Uh, the last airbender, of course. Of course. We were. We don't make comparisons to the other. The other option. Ah, there's so many treasure chests and things in this little area that I want to go and collect, but I cannot. Uh, no, I forget which way I need to go here. I think I need to shove my hand in this hole, as you would. Change the direction of the sand flow. And go around the other way instead. Hey, Nearly. Get on the... There you go. Perfect. Now we just run across here. Oh man, running past all the treasure chests. Moogle. Quick save. <laughs> if escape groups have taught you anything, it's shove your hands into the holes. And if the police have taught me anything, it's that you shouldn't do that. <laughs> I do like it. I haven't done an escape room in so... I've only actually done one escape room in my life and... We weren't very good at it, but I did enjoy it. I would like to have a go, another go at an escape room, actually. Oh, no, not these bastards. No, I'm genuinely running from this. What's the run button? No, that's the go button. That's the run button. Right. We're running. We're not wasting our time with these things. Ha! 
If you aren't supposed to shove your hands in the hole, why would the police be doing it all the time? Think about it. <laughs> no, but they don't want you to know this trick. And that's maybe that's it. Maybe it's a top secret police thing, and like only the police are allowed to do it. So um... <laughs> they're, t they're telling the rest of us not to. Will you run away? It takes so long. <laughs> It's because I haven't learned flee on Zidane. It's partly my own fault. I shouldn't really be whinging. How is my health looking? Eh, it's fine. Not enough that would concern me yet. I think there's just a treasure chest up there and we obviously don't want that. Perfect. All sorts of treasure chests in here that we can't go get. More there. <laughs> Another one up there. Oh, wait, hold on. I do, though. Hip. 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 <laughs> there is a fight I do want to get into. Out here, though. Sorry, while I just button bash. There's something that uh, Queena can eat out here that is helpful. I think it's in the next area. Oh, it's got so many treasure chests around here. It's genuinely depressing that I can't pick up any of them. There's so many nice things. Right. Hopefully this is what I'm after. And hopefully I don't kill it straight away. No. Oh, no, not these things. No. God, no. <laughs> Start running. If we get a chance to hit it, we'll hit it. But for now, just run. Can you do blizzard on all of them? Will that work? Physical attacks didn't seem to do anything, but maybe magic will. I find it quite comforting that I'm to loot everything. I mean, there is a certain tranquility to just being like, you know what, that's not mine. Why would I concern myself with it? Ah, oh, there we go. Magic's the way to go. Oh, I ran away anyway, it's fine. But at least we know magic is what hurts them, so... That's not what we were after. We want to fight a big bird, please. There's our bird. Right, now try not to kill it. What we'll do is we'll have... Don't swallow Zidane. Okay, that's the second worst option. Although technically, if I eat it now, am I eating Vivi? These are the questions that keep me away tonight. <laughs> so this is a zoo. And it teaches us the skill White Wind, which is a healing. It, you, yeah, this is, it teaches us this very ability. Which is a handy, nifty, nifty trick. Just put it out of its misery already. I mean, it has eaten Vivi, which, on a scale of things... Oh, you're going to keep healing yourself, huh? Give us back our boy. Oh my god, he's just going to... Well, I guess you'll run out of MP eventually. <laughs> I mean, I'm damaging you more for more than your healing, so... It is making life difficult, though. Yeah, I know I'm trying, Queena, but it keeps healing itself. Right. Assuming it doesn't heal itself again. Oh, air is bad. That could be Zidane dead. Yep. See if it eats it. Eat it. Oh, really? God damn it. You know some big boy spells. Don't kill Queena. Eat it. Yay! <laughs> it all worked out. Can eat the bugs to get Matra Magic. Oh, really? Oh, Matra Magic is good. Oh, that's tempting. Alright. 
another potion and a phoenix down. Yeah, but I hate those bugs. <laughs> There's also no guarantee that I'll bump into them again. Eh. Also, we're a bit dinged up after that fight. But White Wind is a very useful skill. See, Zidane's basically... Zidane is dead. Uh... Don't want to use too many. If we bump into any more on the way up, because we're not off all the battle screens yet, then we'll try and eat one. They're weak to win. I don't think I have... Because I didn't take um, that spear for Freya, I don't think I have anything that does win damage. Nope, that's not the right button. That does... No. Yeah, I don't have anything that does win damage, I don't think. They're weak to... Yeah, I was going to say, ice seem to do a lot to them. So, if I bump to them, I'll just use Blizzard on them and hope that that's enough. Match magic is useful. Oh, we're here now. Never mind. We do, we do go back down the mountain, uh, down the tree again, mountain. So, maybe we'll get it on the next run. Now, just like at the start of Final Fantasy VIII, these guys are going to offer me a tour. I want to say no. These are these are Clarens. They're like Freya. They're like Burmesians, but they're Clarens. They're like just different. I don't want the tour. <laughs> they look like weird horse people. That's harsh, Frenchy, but also accurate. Let's go look around town and not steal anything. Nah, I don't care. Uh, so there is a in. Oh yeah, you're the fella that we saved as well. Oh, and you sell stuff. I don't have any money still. Fantastic. Oh, I do need a new staff for Vivi. An ice staff might be good actually, because yes, in fact, ice staff is the, definitely the way to go here. They have a pizza place. I take it back. They're amazing. <laughs> you can have the ice stuff. Absolutely. Uh, I can't afford that anymore. Oh, man. So many things I need. <laughs> ah! Uh, thunder gloves would be useful. I know, right? I'm so poor. Oh, all these things that make my life so much easier. Uh, um, <laughs> how am I going to do this? Let's get one bandana and. <laughs> um. One mage's hat. And we'll just go and cry for a little bit that we don't have any money. Because at least, yeah, good. That'll teach you some new things. So that wasn't a waste. Uh, this is always like... I knew this was going to be the difficulty of the... Ch oh, I need to sell those... Oh, wait, I can sell those things. I won't get much for them, but I will be able to sell and clear my list. So two potions and one phoenix down. What does that take me up to? 375... Barely touch the sides. Ugh. I like how no stealing is more of a challenge than carrying school's corpse around all the time. Makes you wonder how much school truly contributed to society. <laughs> Not at all, as Frenchie says. He was there. That it, no more can be said. Uh, I can't afford anything. What am I going to do? I don't even have any... Do I want to get a bone wrist? Kinda. Sure. Why not? Let's just make myself poor. It's fine. So when you finish learning that, you can have the bone room. It's fine. I. <laughs> uh, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Why can't I? Oh, that's weird. Hit like an invisible wall there. 
This UK simulator is so accurate, it makes you kind of to afford things. I'm so poor! Um, do you fancy handing me anything? Nope. Nope. Okay, that's cool. That's what I expected. Uh... Wait, you sell stuff. I can't even afford a potion. Oh, no. <laughs> Begging is not stealing. No, if I just literally like... Listen, I'm tired. I've got sand in my shoes. I would really love if you just gave me a potion just for like... A sympathy potion, you know. <laughs> you could farm some money for us. I could, I could go try and grind some fights. You think that's UK? Oh no, I'm sure this is an issue worldwide. But the UK in particular is just like really choosing the creme de la creme of how to screw itself over. Um, please wait at the inn. Are you going to let me stay at the inn for free? Oh, that's a point. If I have to pay to stay at the inn, then. I need to go make some money. Okay, we might you might get your wish, Frenchie. We might be off to go do a few couple of fights to get some money, but also so we can afford to stay in the inn. This is true as well. We don't, we have we only have oh wait no we only have first hand experience of uh, no there's a boss fight coming up first. I forgot about this. Yeah, we only have first hand experience of just how screwed the UK is. So that's kind of where we <laughs> base our absolute. <laughs> <coughs> is it called ennui? Is that the right term I'm using there, Frenchie? This kind of like despair at life. I'd love to help you, and I will help you, but first... I need to go safe, because this could go... quite badly, and there's a save moogle here. I mean, a boss will still give us... Should give us some muns. Okay. We're not going to have any chance to heal up before the fight either, which is problematic. Will I even get a chance to equip people before we go into the fight? Hopefully. You're not going to let me equip people with things, are you, first? Oh, that's so annoying. I bought I bought Vivi a, a, an ice staff for this very situation. <laughs> let me equip it on him. Uh, I know it's cool, but I really like the art direction. The, the game is, like, so stylistically on point. It is... It is like watching a film in certain places, like an animated film. I'd love it. They are actually making, I think I read that they're making like an animated Final Fantasy IX series. Like some French studio is making an animated version of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I can't remember how... I heard rumours about it like a couple of months ago and then it seemed to go quiet. So I have no idea if it's still happening or not. But that was definitely a thing for a while. Uh, you need to try and blind him if memory serves. Keep White Wind on backup. Trouble mucus is a... Hey, it missed. Fantastic. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing a joke, Frenchie. <laughs> oh, Sandstorm is bad. Yeah, that's so bad. Ah, fuck, he's got counter horn. Oh, thank god it missed. Explain to me why some enemies look like their resistance is pure suffering. Because it's a Final Fantasy game. <laughs> Uh, 
people had a poll about the animated series on whether or not Cooter's crotch should be censored or not. <laughs> That's brilliant. Let's do another white win because I don't fancy dealing with that again. Right, now Blizzard should hit this thing pretty hard. Donk! Yeah, enough of your trouble, mucus. Ugh, that hurts. Uh, right. Yeah, that's doing some good damage now. Also, I need you to jump away before you can get hit, please. Thank you! Fira, eh? Well, that was unpleasant. It appears to be true. It's been picked up by a Cypher Group Studios. Okay. Uh, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? Yeah, now I want to do White Wind, please. Because that is unpleasant. Just Google Kuja, now I want to see a whole scene dedicated to it. <laughs> yes, Kuja's, uh, Kuja's design is interesting. Uh, ugh, I should probably keep that in case I need it again. Still going, huh? They made a series that I've seen appear on Netflix called The Last Kids on Earth, so I'm getting over back. I mean, it certainly seems that way. Oh, I'll fry it. I mean, if, if Squaresoft's willing to... Oh, man, the phrase going to miss out some AP here. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, if Squaresoft's meant... Well, Square Enix is made, willing to hand over responsibility to the studio, then I assume they've got a little bit of faith in them. But yeah, this is definitely going to be the year... Well, 2024, I think, will be a big year for like announcements of Final Fantasy IX because there's rumours about the remake. There's obviously the, te the animated series... They're doing a lot of Final Fantasy IX crossover stuff with other Final Fantasy stuff at the moment. So, um, yeah. Oh, need to tell that. Anointment. Uh. So, yeah, I'm guessing there's a few things happening with this game at the moment. Oh, sweet money! 2,000 gil. We can buy some stuff. Remake is rumoured to be launched in the summer of 2024. Yeah, I'm expecting that there'll... I'm half expecting there'll be a trailer at the... Because the Game Awards are coming up, aren't they? Uh, I forget which... What is it called? There's, there's, there's some sort of Game Awards coming up. And I assume that they'll do a trailer or something there. Uh, so this is Puck, who you might recognise as the wee little rat fella that we met right at the very start of the game. Uh, in Limblem, who made friends with Vivi. Turns out he's a prince. Okay, that wasn't too bad in the end. Fuck this guy. <laughs> uh, oh, the dance sequence. Guys, we get to watch the dance sequence. Uh, I look away for two seconds to Google some stuff about the FF number and VV. No, 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 not VV. Puck. Puck is a prince. Uh, the wee little rat fella. Uh, VV is not a prince, unfortunately. I mean, he is our prince. He's the people's prince, but he's not a prince in title. So, anyway, there's a dance sequence coming up. It is glorious. I won't say anything. We can just sit back and watch it together. It's it's river dance for, for rat people. It's brilliant. A 
It puts Quistis' uh, tap dancing to shame. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> there is a war out killing everyone. So we dance! That's how we deal with danger. We dance. Key change, like all good songs have. Ta-da! Whoops. Uh, so, <laughs> this the dance is designed to empower the the sandstorm. They're trying to keep themselves safe by making the sandstorm stronger. Unfortunately, it hasn't gone well because the the harp's broken. Now, can we say this was in response to the dancing? Who knows? But things have gone badly, and instead of making things better, they've made them very much worse. Can I request your band to play this song? <laughs> I mean, I can pitch it, but I doubt they'd go for it, Frenchie. And maybe if I maybe if I showed them the dance that goes with it, maybe that's that maybe that'll be the kind of the, the deal breaker, you know? That'll be what gets them on board. So yes, now we are just a big tree that is defenseless. Which is kind of the opposite of what we wanted to happen. So we built a massive sandstone to keep immigrants out and made the rat people fight. I mean, in the lore of the game, the rat people may... Wait, actually I don't know, I don't know the origins of the sandstorm actually. But um, there's there's kind of like there's like a kind of um, what are the two places in Lord of the Rings? It's Gondor and uh, crap. What's what's the other place in Lord of the Rings where they're like, oh, Gondor calls for aid. They have that kind of relationship, Burmesia and Clara, where like they're 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 allied allied but not allied. They don't like each other very much, if memory serves. Also, here we get a fun a, a sw cage swinging game. Physics. Rohan! Thank you. Memory completely abandoned me there. And Rohan shall answer. <laughs> Such a good film. Right. Time for physics, baby. Oh, wait. In a minute. Time for physics. So, Dagger gets her comeuppance for... Um, drugging everybody, because she's about to get drugged. <laughs> Cute epic music. It's coming. But yes, Dagger's piecing together that things have been weird for a while here. And also, the clown boys are acting weird. Luckily, the clowns don't understand basic insults, so they're just going to go and grab her anyway. Isn't acting weird what Jess is normally do? Normally, but these two really take it up a couple of notches. These these two go to eleven, you know. So our queen tries to be like, oh no, everything's fine, darling. You shouldn't trust everything else, you should trust me. I would like to start a GoFundMe page to buy the queen a new bra. Yeah. We do not believe you. Because of evidence and such. It's okay. Q just here. So everything must be a okay. Uh, 
and creepy. Yeah. As a no bro enjoy it myself, I'd like to ask GoFundMe staff to shut down your page. <laughs> Conflict in the chat. Who will win? Either way, we all lose. Oh yeah, cool. And now we get we go from one dance to another dance, where they're going to forcibly extract the idolons from uh, Dagger, which is like the summons of this game. Ugh. I need to tidy up my desk. My desk is an absolute state. Okay. <laughs> so predictably, now that the sandstorm's gone, uh, we know that it's all Thong Man's fault. In fact, we get to briefly control uh, Frey, which is a nice. You're a no bra absolutist. You stick to your guns. Uh, what can we change, if anything? What should we change, if anything? I guess you have maxed out that, but there's nothing to switch it for, so it's fine. <laughs> Let's go and find the rest of our party. Oh, wait, I can save as well while I'm here. Because I don't want to sit through all that dancing in. Wait, are you going to sell me stuff? Yeah, you are, baby. Okay. Right, time to actually get a few bits and pieces. So I think a new spear for you is a definite. It's expensive. Oh, it's so expensive. But we do need it. Um, I feel like a mithril armlet would be nice. And I'm poor again. This economy is not doing anything for me. It's making my life harder. Uh... All my hard-earned money from that one fight. I know. Uh, high Tide's not that useful. And Cover's not that useful, so we'll keep those. That's fine. This was literally the game going... <laughs> beep -a doop no money for you. Yeah, the game... I mean, this is the challenge I set myself, though. <gasps> Silt skin's here! Oh, I don't have any money! <laughs> Do I have enough? Oh, wait. Sit there, Silt skin. You, you sell bargains. I need them. Sell... Uh, what can I sell? What can I sell? What can I sell? Uh, I don't think I need those... Do I need those? Are they new? I don't think I need the bronze armor. No. <laughs> Crap, I don't know. I don't think I need the silk shirts. I can sell those. We have to fund our, our boy's onward journey because he gives us good deals. He gives us bargains. Thank you. We have to keep the Moogle in business. It's right up, right up there on the list along with keeping Vivi and Queener alive and not stealing. It's in our top three priorities. Local trading at its best. Exactly. He found those three things on the ground. Blew the dust off them and sold them to us for a healthy profit. He's a small local business and we'll do everything we can to keep him afo afloat. Right. I think what we'll do is... In my head I'm just picturing how much I have to do in this particular section. Yeah, I know where we're going to stop for tonight. That's fine. So let's uh, just equip our peeps. As a UK citizen, JD, I'm sure you know, I stated in the citizenship, it's advice to shop locally. I bet it is, along with a whole bunch of other weird stuff. Uh, Rightio, what? Right, you've learned everything you can off that. So maybe we'll take that off you. 
finally I can give you the ice staff. Oh, that does mean you're learning slow off that. Oh wait, no, that means like ah, perfect. Then I can give you that. Everything's coming up Millhouse. That's not teaching you anything, so let's take them off. I've already given you your better stuff, but we'll take that off you. You still got your fork, your plastic fork for eating with, and what have you. Uh, keep it, I guess. Wait, hold on. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Steel girl is pointless. So bug killer would be better. It's perfect. Uh, what are you learning? Add status off of the moment. Nothing. Okay, fine. You can have the bone wrist. That. And you're still learning million that, so that's fine. Uh, why not try your luck on a bit of organ harvesting? <laughs> that one's got one way to get rich quick. Reddit on Reddit, so it must be true. Everything you read on Reddit is true. Why would it not be? Um... So I think we'll give you the coral ring now. Give you the glass buckle, because then people can be learning things. This is brilliant. Oh wait, then you don't need... Oh, but you are learning something off that. That's fine. And then you... No, oh, we don't learn anything off that. But it's fine. Everybody's happy with things. Uh, man eater we definitely need for what's coming up. Something that could be useful. Take bug killer as well, in case we come against those bugs. That's a good idea. Uh, add status, I don't think you're going to be hitting anybody. Loudmouth, definitely. Perfect. And those are important. Eh, it's fine. Right. Let's go and hopefully get in a couple of fights. Because we does is need the money. <gasps> Wait a minute, Alexandrian soldiers in their swimsuits. The invasion has arrived. Uh oh. Well, let's drop my good. Fight time! Stop hitting VV first. What's wrong with you, monster? And the bathing suit ladies are back. Exactly. You say it like it's a bad thing, Frenchie. Alright, okay. I didn't sell my anointment either. That was stupid. I don't know why I didn't even think of that. Potion times one. High potion times one. Aim for basically any appendage, JD, they're exposed. I know, the armor is useless. The goggles, they do nothing. But they've got a lot of money on them, so we'll take that. Well, not a lot. Some. Here comes some more. I mean, they're dressed for the beach, so the going up a treehouse full of sand seems like quite a good holiday choice, really. Um, chop! I hoping for a slightly bigger chop, but that's fine. Ah, oh, you're booking it, are you? That's their beach outfit. I can see a problem with that. There are many problems with that. Wearing boots, measure up sand, fits in those. Yeah. And then they have to, have to march home with sand in their boots. Unpleasant. I want another potion. So many problems. But, gill in their pockets won't be a thing. Have they even got pockets? You can't tell me Beatrix isn't part of a mafia alphabet. She made an active choice with the uniforms. I mean... Uh. I would just nobody's complaining. Everybody's everybody's okay with the the situation we found ourselves in. There are no losers in this situation. Stop casting spells on me, please. You know what? Fact. Oh, we're gonna trance, are we? Well that's slightly irritating, but hey ho. 
Still better than most video games. <laughs> Hey, you missed. So Vivi knows some bigger boy spells now. Case in point. I read the Viva La Dirt League League video on women's armor. Yeah, absolutely. I love Viva La Dirt League. If anybody hasn't checked out uh, Viva La Dirt League, they do some very, very good videos on YouTube. All about kind of pointing out the many obvious flaws in uh, video game logic. It's very, very good. <laughs> right, so Freya starts to realise that this seems like not enough to be an invasion. And it turns out it was just a distraction. So we need to go back on the double. Let's go. Everyone knows that comfort is the number one priority in a fight. Protecting your body only gets you so far on your overheat. Exactly, yeah. There, there's a reason we don't fight in clunky knight armor anymore. Crap, now hold on. I've got to remember... There's a path you have to take here to make sure you keep everybody alive. I've just got to remember what it is. Because they're, they're just going around murderizing everybody at the moment. Amazingly, murderous kill bots are overpowering pacifists. So. Stand back, ladies. We'll take care of this. Yay, perfect. One choppy for you. Job's done. No items. Good news. Uh, did they run in here? Oh, but you guys are here. Hello. You're not going to sell me anything else, are you? Right, quick save in case I get it wrong. I know, I've actually got some money again. I need more, but I've got some. Now, actually, this is a good point to save, because if I mess up... Basically, the more people I save here, the more free stuff I'll get, I'll get given at the end. So I want to keep everybody alive here. I just need my memory to kick in and tell me which way I need to send everybody. Oh, for God's sake. Will you stay out of danger for, like, two seconds? <laughs> right. Let's chop ourselves up some more uh, Alexandrians. You need to die, and you need to die. Vivi with the big boy spells. Hooray! Ow. Stop running away, you coward. Stop exploding, you cowards. Okay, you've learned add status. Oh, that's another potion for the list. Ah, oh, so much muns. Listen to it all raining in. Back up over 4,000. I might actually be able to do something. Oh, and there's more of them. More money on legs. Hooray! Yeah, there's a lot of, like, fights here that kind of... It's a good way to grind up a bit of uh, experience and what have you. So you hit him. You hit him. Ah, not my MP. Ah, missed, huh? Problematic. 
Nope. Nice. And no items had to list. 5,000 Guillory do now. There's a meme about Lalpas finding a dead body and contaminating it with glitter because their pre strike user revives. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, right, think here. We go right. Let's head. Is it right? Yes. Perfect. Comedic YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, here we go. Left. I think. Is it left or is it up the stairs? No, it's left. Pretty sure. Good, then we kill you guys. Uh, while we're talking uh, comedic D&D uh, &D related stuff, um, if anybody hasn't checked it out yet, check out uh, Tom Cardi Perception Check. It is an amazingly funny song. <laughs> Parody song. Man, you are great. Oh, you only stuck to you seen it. Fan it's great. I love it. It's it went on repeat quite a few times when I first found it. <laughs> In fact, I think Frenchie. I think you said it to me originally. Chop. You did. That is a lot of lovely experience there. You've learned slow. Oh, a remedy to add to the list. Okay. Look at that money piling up, though. This is good. We like this. Loot that body! <laughs> right, let's just check how... Ugh, your health is quite low. When did your health get so low? Eh, it's fine. Uh, anything else I can replace yet? No. Maybe? Add status. I'm sure you've already got add status. Oh, you're learning add status. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. Nothing better there. No, I don't want that. That's fine. Nothing off that. Okay, I think there's nothing else we can learn at this point, so we might as well just keep going. Go right. And we'll deal with this next wave. Give me more money. I'm so poor. Ugh. Oh, Phoebe, hold on. You run away, you coward. There we go. I do need to heal up Vivi. Vivi's a little bit... <laughs> Vivi got stabbed a couple of times there. Now, oh, another potion for the list. Well, at least I can sell all these as well to make a bit of extra money. So, uh, it's not all a huge problem. Whoopsie daisy. 7,000 gil now. More importantly, though, I'm making all the right choices. Your very first Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough with friends was actually a classic D&D session. Uh, you know, a classic D&D. Uh, just a good, nothing beats a, uh, a good D&D session. Uh, we're not safe yet. Baldur's Gate 3 is the closest to D&D video games. I mean, yeah. It's impossible to fully replicate or capture the the kind of 
feeling of a, of a proper D&D game, but Baldur's Gate 3 is a damn good effort. It's as close as it gets, really. Come along. Come on, just get in the cathedral. Quickly, before something bad happens. Oh look, something bad's happening. You do the Pathfinder game, especially for the mechanical, actually, to the TTRPG version. I, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I don't think I've played it. I mean, I've played Pathfinder, the, the TTRPG. I don't think I've ever played any of the Pathfinder video games. Uh, Sorry for next session, if certain Kenku wants to kill me, my boy is ready. <laughs> it could happen. It really could. I didn't mean to put... Well, I didn't... I knew I put you in a difficult situation, Frenchie, but, like, I trust that, like, it will all play out the way it needs to play out. Uh, look! It's our boy O With his, uh... Toothbrush spear. And chop. And chop. That's a hat trick. Chop. Now run! Cool. Cheers, buddy. So this is uh, Sir Fratley, which is Freya's lost love. But because this game can't let anybody have nice things, uh, he has memory loss and doesn't remember her. Your good boy Adorableness will save him. Oh, absolutely. So what we're going to do is, uh, we're just going to wrap up this stuff. We're going to get given our free gifts by the people we saved. And then we're going to save because we're coming up on another Beatrix site. But we'll do that at the very start of the uh, of the next stream. Zidane truly speaking, what's everybody's mind? Z Zidane does become like the kind of every man's voice in this. Like He goes from obviously his um, slightly awkward flirty beginnings to actually being quite a well-rounded character. Away! I mean, yeah. It, illegal and awkward are two very different things. You are right, Frenchie. <laughs> oh. Phoebe's a sweet child. He's like, uh-oh, Freya's crying. I need to go make sure she feels better. Uh, Phoebe just gets knocked over a lot. It's kind of part of his character trait. <laughs> hey, it's our girl! Doink. So she's stolen something. She is a thief, and we know that stealing is bad. That's the whole point of this run. So we're just going to go around and collect all of our freebies for saving all these people, because they're giving them to us willingly. So she gives us a card, which is... who cares. You give us an elixir, which is much better. A card, yep, yeah, cool. You give us an ether, that's nice. You give us a Phoenix Pinion, which is all right. Uh, Beatrix is that bad guy. I'm slightly okay if she wins. She's bad enough. Yeah, exactly. Well, so there was um, somebody made a, a mod of this where Beatrix, because spoiler alert, Beatrix does briefly join your party at one point, um, and they somebody made a mod where like you can basically just have her in your party forever from that point onwards. Um, and I was like, you know what? If I'm going to install the mod, that might be the one I want because I love Beatrix. Um, Cool, you have given us all of your stuff. Ugh, our health isn't looking good. Although, there's is something funny you can do actually here. So, Beatrix has, Beatrix has just run out the door with the gem. We are in hot pursuit. What are we going to do? We're going to have a nap. She'll wait, it's fine.
And then we can save. I mean, Beatrix's, uh, uh, what do you call it, uniform choice is uh, mandatory for all involved. So yes, we would all have to wear swimsuits. Every single one of us. <laughs> cool, we are saved. We are good. Uh, I did just save, didn't I? My brain is awful. I just literally saw the Moogle do the flip and everything. If that says Clayroot Cathedral, yeah, we're fine. I, I totally just did it. I'm not going to do it again. We're fine. But that's where we're going to end the stream for tonight. So when we come back in the next stream, it will be to do the next fight against our girl Beatrix. Um, oh, there's no shop here, though. Can't sell our stuff. Can't sell anything yet. How many uniform would I expect to shave my legs for this? I'm with you, Baba I'll, I'll, I'll. If it's for Beatrix, I'll kit up however she needs me to kit up, but there will be no shaving of the legs involved. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Frenchie. Always fun to have a good stream, and always pleasure to have you two along as well. Always a, always an absolute joy. Um, free the leg hair, exactly. Woo! Power to the leg hair. Uh, the next stream will probably be... Actually, it won't be long. It'll either be tomorrow evening or Sunday evening. It'll be one of the two. I'll try and post on... Uh, thank you very much, French. There are links to some of my previous uh, challenges on my YouTube channel if anybody wants to check them out. Uh, the next stream will either be tomorrow evening or Sunday evening. I'll try and post on, on YouTube, on the YouTube channel, to confirm either way. Um, I would assume tomorrow. Assume tomorrow, unless I say otherwise. That probably seems the, the safest way to do it. You're very welcome, Babas. It always, like I said, an absolute pleasure to have you along. Um... Yeah, I'm enjoying this stream. I'm, I'm, this is the first, we're starting to hit the point where it becomes difficult, where we haven't picked up all of the random bric-a-brac, we haven't stolen anything, and we're starting to run out of money fairly frequently. So this is where it is going to start to get a bit trickier, which is good. We want a challenge. We don't want this to be a straightforward run. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there for tonight. Uh, hopefully I'll see you over the weekend as and when I end up streaming. Like I said, probably tomorrow, but I'll never know. Um, but in the meantime, I hope you have a great weekend, whatever you're up to. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Friday evening. And I will see you all on the next stream. So uh, that'll do. Ta-ra for now.